Welcome to the Mendota Ranch. I guess we're not on the ranch. We're over here somewhere in Oklahoma. Spreading a uh, spike for um, a guy we know. So we're stripping it. We're not just like killing the whole pasture. We're just cutting strips in it. We're using the generic spikes. So since spike, we can't buy any spike right now. So we're using the generic stuff. So we don't know if it's any good or not. Probably is. We'll see. But I thought I'd kind of tag y'all along. I want you to be able to see this. is kind of my GPS. It kind of gives me my, my lines. Alright, started spraying. We're spreading. The hardest part about doing this is getting back on your line, getting around and getting back on your line and getting straight, so. And holding your speed for me anyways. That bucket, if you go too much, that bucket goes to pulling you back and forth. Really messes with you. So I'm about I'm doing about 80 acres. Rock along here pretty good. Had a big old salt water spill right over here, so I'm not spreading on it because it looks like it's killing stuff already. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting two lines and I'm skipping a line. And since this is shin oak here, we're doing uh, seven and a half pounds to the acre. That shin oak is some pretty nasty stuff. All right, about back on my line. Good over a little bit. Down there. That's that bucket pulling me back and forth. I get to whomp in that bucket around. Slow down. So now I'm gonna skip a line. And I'm not gonna spread. If there's no brush, I'm not spreading there. So I'm just going where the brush is. Okay, Wes, I did uh, 30 acres that time. I've got a few pounds uh, left in, in here, not much. Okay, uh, there was just, nope, there was 325 in there, so we're putting down a little more than we need to be. Yeah. But you, is our goal, uh, all right. Well, that, well that, that, was, that was 30 acres, so whatever you think we need to turn it up or down, you just you do what you need to do. I won't, I won't land. I'm, right, I'm at a, we're up to 100 acres we've done now. So what just happened there is Wes loaded me with, uh, filled my bucket back up again. So we're doing, we're still adjusting the, cal the calibration. Uh, seven and a half pounds is something we normally don't do. So we, we normally do like five pounds or five and a half. And I, sp I was planting alfalfa the other day, so I, it was set for alfalfa. So it's kind of hard to set the calibration. It takes a couple tries. So we're like at, we were like at six pounds and then we went to eight pounds so now hopefully we're pretty close now on my next line here come on baby here we go easy a lot easier when you're going into the wind that we got a little wind like tailwind over here kind of pushes you along and it's almost harder when you want to strip it it's almost easier to just kind of fill it in and leave instead of leave strips but you know we'll do it we but what he's trying to do is just get because it, it actually throws 90 plus feet so you get a little extra if you just strip it you know maybe you get 100 feet or 110 feet so and it, that's cool i'm cool with that so okay we'll stop there I don't think I'm gonna spray up here. There's really no, there's no uh, rush up here. I'm gonna stay down a little lower. Skip a 
strip here. A little, I got a little bit left in there. I'm gonna see what I. I'm gonna see if I can get to that location. Oh yeah, I should get there. Looks like there's more than I thought. Good, 40 acres. Alright, I got 40 acres out of that, 41 acres out of that one that time, Wes. So, you know, we're, we're doing good now. It's all good. We got, we got everything pretty calibrated. We run over here and get a couple more loads, one more load maybe. Might be done. He's only got 160 acres to do, so it'll be an easy day. Then I, I've got a bunch of military uh, waiting on me to get home and fly, so I've got a bunch of shooters. And we're, we're kind of up against the weather. It's supposed to start raining, which, boy, I pray it does. But um, it'd be nice if I get all this done and get all the shooters done today. And then it just rain all day tonight and tomorrow, just make me so happy. It's kind of goofy coming in here to get west because I'm getting a wind right off this left shoulder and it blows my rotor wash into my tail rotor and it's a little wiggly. Yeah, so I was 140 acres that time, so we're, we're on the money now. So, <clears throat> yeah, Wes is gonna, Wes is gonna boogie now, so. Um, I'm going to finish up and let him and go. On, he can drive on home. I got all this bucket home, but I don't have to go down the highway. So this bucket, I can go only go like you know 60, oh 64, 65 knots, and it starts flopping around. So, but I'll knock this last 20 acres out pretty quick. We'll be done. All right, so same old deal. I'm going to skip a strip. I think I'm going to be going right over that location this time. Uh, maybe just to the edge of it, I'll show you. Okay, good deal. Alright, here we go. A little wide. Alright. Oh, location, give me a chance to get back online. Okay, shut her off. You know, you, I don't want this chemical is too expensive to spread it over this location. Make sure there's not a tire. Uh, good. Back around. Oh, fence is all. Oh, okay, fence goes that way. All right. I was trying to figure out which way this fence was all about. I thought I'd just finish that deal up right there and be good. Almost done here. Maybe one more little pass, and I'm done. 166 acres. Got a location coming up. Looks like I got a little bit left in there. Maybe a, maybe two or three pounds. Finish it off right here. Yeah, we're done. All right, let's go home. Rec two, recent HQ. Rec two. All right, we're headed home. All right. Well. Thanks for coming along and helping, and uh, thanks for following, thanks for subscribing, catch you later.